The all eyes are on Amendment 4 in Florida today, a ballot measure that, if passed, would change abortion access here in Florida. WPTV's Chris Gilmore, he took a closer look today with the new change in state law. For some, the focus now turns to this fall. Florida's six-week ban goes into effect today, but how long it'll be around depends a lot on voters come November and whether or not they can reach that magic number of 60%. A super majority. May 1st, the change in month also means a change in law. Gabby Galoza is firmly opposed to Florida's newest abortion restrictions. I think that it's it's inhumane to tell women what they can and can't do with their bodies. With a six week ban now in place for some, attention turns to November. Florida voters will have the final say on Amendment 4, a measure that would protect abortion up to 24 weeks if approved. Both sides of the issue will be counting on turnout. Our job will be to defeat this at the ballot box, to inform the voters, and to make sure they understand the breadth of this amendment. Matt Staver calls the proposed amendment vague. As CEO of Liberty Council, Staver is an anti-abortion advocate focused on getting his message to voters. So when they understand the implications of this um, amendment, I think they'll vote a no on Amendment 4. 60 percent is the threshold needed for Amendment 4 to be approved. Attorney for the Presidential Women's Center, Louis Silber, says the supermajority hurdle is possible. Six states have approved measures to loosen abortion restrictions since 2022. Women or men who, who care very deeply about their wives, their daughters, their significant others, uh, the citizens will respond as they have in other states, though other states that they didn't require 60%. But I'm still very hopeful. An issue to be decided at the ballot box. In West Palm Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.